Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. I'm back with another resin project. So today I'm sharing one of my favorite projects that's a little out there, resin salad plates. I started making all these resin pieces, a resin tray, resin three-tiered tray, and I thought this looks like a tablescape, but for a tablescape, you need plates. Now, I didn't necessarily want to do full dinner plates because resin plates, but I thought salad plates could be a fun decorative option that's on top of your stack, right? Placemat, charger, dinner plate, salad plate, so on top, so it'll be really visible. And then if you don't want the risk of eating on resin, you don't have to use them. They can be purely decorative. If you do want to use them, there are a couple options. Some people believe that resin is resin. It's toxic, y'all, and you should never eat off of it. My resin says that it is food safe after it's been cured for seven days. So if I believe that, I can eat straight off these plates. If I don't believe that, I can always clear coat them with a food safe clear sealer, something like a spray sealer that will lock in the resin and you won't be eating off that resin. I will probably only use these as decorative pieces just to be on the safe side. I know decorative things aren't for everybody. I just like pretty things. They make me happy. So we're going to jump into the project. In order to make resin plates, you are going to need a couple things. You are going to need your protective gear, so your gloves and your respirators, same ones I use in every project. If you've seen my videos, you've seen these, that's because I wear them. I don't like headaches or rashes. I've gotten both. Then you need your resin. You probably will use about 300 milliliters of resin per plate. Um, sometimes you can use a little more, sometimes a little less. The way that this mold works, you want it to be level, like all your molds, but it kind of fills differently. I'll show you. Then you're going to want your ingredients, your inclusions, as the fancy resin people say. I used five colors, a rose gold um, copper oil-based paint, a blush craft paint, a white alcohol ink, um, a rose gold glitter, and a holographic glitter. And then I did add some not rock since these are plates, but rose gold flakes in a few places. So that brings us to our mold. I'm it. Because I couldn't find a salad plate mold that I liked. There are some out there. Or that I wanted to pay for. Also, I wanted my salad plates to match my dinner plates. Which means they needed to be cast with a plate that matched my dinner plates. So I was lucky, I went to Walmart and I just bought a porcelain plate from their dollar section. It was literally a dollar 25. That has round dots around the side that match my dinner plates perfectly. Um, if you can't find a cheap plate to experiment with, you can always use one from your set. I would just practice your mold making first so that you know what you're doing because this was my third mold. First two didn't come out so great. It's not a hard process. It's just a learning curve. And I will link to the video where I made this and share all the ways that I messed them up the first time <laughs> down below. All right. So now we are going to get started. If you've made anything with resin, this is a pretty straightforward tutorial, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And you come out with some really pretty plates. So let's get started.
y'all, we are ready to demold the salad plate. I just did the knife rest, and I'll leave a link to those below. We're gonna just get started by pulling the mold back. There we go. I just kinda wanna do it all the way around as much as possible. Bowser! Oh, my dog's running away. Just a second, y'all. Okay, sorry about that. I had to run and grab my dog. All right. So now that we've kind of got it figured out, we are going to start on this side. It doesn't really matter which side. You just want to kind of pull it away. edges and you'll feel it release from the front oh it's looking perfect and just keep going all the way around And there we go. We've got a little bit of silicone stuck right here. And I'm guessing that's because this is where I've patched this mold. Um, so it must have still been a little sticky. But as far as a perfect mold goes, that is pretty darn close. All right, y'all. We're done. So as you can see, I made not one not two, not three, but four salad plates because I wanted a full set of four for me and my girlfriends to have a fun little garden party. Um, they turned out amazing. I love them. You can see, let's get real close. See my face? Let me show you here. This one's a good example. You could see those dots I was talking about. See how amazing they look? That matches my dinner plate. So if you are doing a different plate, yours may look different. Now, as you can see, they all look a little bit different. That's just the way that resin works. Even though I poured them all using the same techniques, using the same materials, using the same colors, literally juggling plates not in a cool juggly way. They're all gonna come out different. Um, I like that. I think they coordinate that way, but they still look like they're part of a set. I think they turn out really cool. I'm gonna put a bunch of really pretty finish shots for you here. And then once I'm done, I will actually link the resin tablescape where I put these and the tray and the three-tier tray and the antique knife rest that I molded and make copies of to match down below. See you next time. Bye.